Hey guys, it's Jill. I'm back. It's been a while. Um, finally got through all of my gallbladder nonsense and I am back hanging out with you guys on weeknights. Um, so some of you that have been following me have been asking you know, about, oh, it was probably a week or maybe a little more than that. I had posted that we got our my pillows, and I've heard lots of people talk about them, and um, so they popped up on one of my Zoo Lily deals, and I've been I've been watching them, and it was the the normal sale price was like a hundred dollars for two, and so then finally there was this super crazy awesome bargain on Zoo Lily, and I'm like it's a sign. Praise Jesus for the sign, we got the pillows. Um, so anyways, so um, normally, I know I chat with you in my, my little minivan, but came to you from my bed tonight in my sparkle dot jammies here to hang out with you. And I just wanted to kind of, I've we've slept on them for just like a little bit over a week now. And um, I feel like, I feel like I can give like a solid, review on how our sleep's going and and how we're liking them. Um, so to start with, they come like in this crazy tiny, like it's like two feet long and like a cylinder about this big around and you're kind of thinking like, that's my pillow. And, um, but yeah, so it's all packed in tight and it's kind of like, I don't really know exactly what it's made out of, but it's like torn up memory foam, I think. Sorry for the shaky camera, but my, um, yeah, it's been a month and I still haven't gotten my new tripod. I just can't make a decision on what to get. Um, if anyone has any advice on the tripod, please hit me up. Anyways, back to my pillow. So, um, okay, so it comes in the cylinder, you pack, you, you know, unpackage it, unroll it, and they're about this thick. And so still I'm thinking, Okay, and everybody that I've talked to that's had these, you know, is like, um, what they've said is they've gone from being people that needed like two or three pillows to down to just needing the one pillow. And I'm like, how is this going to work? So directions, all the directions, you throw them in the dryer for 15 minutes. So I threw both pillows. We got the king, we got king size pillows, both pillows fit in the dryer just fine. Threw them in the dryer for 15 minutes. It said specifically, like, no dryer balls, no tennis balls or anything to, like, beat them up. And um, so we threw them in there. Sure enough, they fluffed right up. Um, I was a little bit concerned because they felt pretty firm. And we sleep on kind of medium pillows. And so that's what we got were the medium um, firmness pillows. And, um, and we're both used to sleeping on feather pillows and so I was a little like mm, a little skeptical um, and I mean I'll tell you so anyways first night I'm a little skeptical Tyler's like okay I'll try this once but I'm not gonna like it super skeptical right and so um, so first night we sleep on him he of course doesn't listen to me that he should reduce his pillow load. So he sleeps on three pillows and then this one happens to be the one on the bottom. So he got a really, really good um, first night experience knowing what it felt like. So anyways, we changed that for the second night. But So first night for me, I used one pillow, like one of my soft feather pillows, and then I used the my pillow on top. And I'll flip it around here in just a minute and kind of show you what it looks like and what it... Um, feels like but um, first night it felt pretty good I was still kind of recovering from surgery so I probably should have waited to get like a a good a really good trial but um, it probably was even better because I was still recovering still not super comfortable but I slept really well and the thing that I really like about it is that um, like with my feather pillows I like to be able to like scrunch them up and like you know mold them where you want them to be but then inevitably you wake up in the middle of the night and it's gone flat like under your neck or where it's not supposed to. But the my pillow, you scrunch it where you want it to be. And at first I felt like it was going to be too firm like that, but it totally it wasn't. 
it just kind of stayed, you know, like how, I don't know if anybody else does it, but like I scrunch it, I'm a side sleeper, so I scrunch it so that it fits like in the crook of my neck and um, then it just, it stayed there. So um, on a normal night, I toss and turn quite a few different times and I noticed with these, um, on the first few nights, already I had noticed that I wasn't flip-flopping nearly as much. Um, now I will say, like, I didn't, it's not like we got these, got them out of the dryer, laid down on them, and they just felt like, oh my god, it's a dream. Because it wasn't. It wasn't like that at all. And they feel, um, they feel pretty firm, especially if you're used to a feather pillow like we were. They feel pretty firm and they feel like they might not quite work but I've been super impressed and um, so since then on about night three I got rid of the other pillow um, I've gone from sleeping with three feather pillows down to just sleeping with this one my pillow um, I love I love 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 the fact I mean we probably well we don't buy new we don't buy new pillows as often as we should but we probably buy new pillows like once every six or seven months just because they get so deflated and nasty and I like washing a feather pillow I just I'm sure I'm sure there's probably a way to do it but like gross um, but anyways these you wash just wash them in your regular washer and dry them in your dryer once every four months and they are supposed to last for 10 years so for paying and we paid $65 for the pair of king pillows and um and I know like that was just a Zulily bargain and you know those those aren't like they're just flash sales essentially um on their website they have several coupon codes where it gets it down to like $100 for a pair which honestly is still um I feel like it's still a pretty good deal um but on, I looked just yesterday, and if you go on QVC, their deal is the same as these, and they're like around 65 or 70 for a pair. And we've paid, like, the pillows that we were getting before this were pillows that I found at Marshall's that were these, like, Ralph Lauren pillows that we really liked, that were finally ones that were, like, good quality feather pillows that we liked, and they were 50 bucks a piece, so... And, you know, they didn't last. But, um, what else was I going to talk about them? Anybody have any questions about them? Beth, yes, Beth asked, um, how often you should buy a pillow. She's had hers forever. Time to buy a my pillow, Beth. Um, oh, there are, so, um, so the way that you buy these is, based on if you go to the my pillow website it has kind of a chart on um your t-shirt size what's where how you sleep like if you're a stomach sleeper a back sleeper or a side sleeper um seems like there was one more category i'm gonna put this all all this information into my blog and i will put all that stuff there and i'll um if I'm feeling nice, maybe I'll even link it over. Um, so, so yeah, so then, um, and then it also, so it took you to like a color category of what firmness you needed to be at. And then if you are a, if you normally sleep on feather pillows, then you were supposed to go less a category, like not as firm, softer. Um, and so that's what we did. We did it just by that and ended up, pretty good. I, I feel like maybe I'd be okay if it was a little less firm, but um, for the most part, I think mine's pretty good. Um, let me, oh, Aunt Sharon asked how, how does Tyler like his, um, or Bubba, that's the family name for him. He, um, his words, I tried to get him to hang out here and be on live with us, but he declined, we'll say. Um, he is down to two pillows. He sleeps with one pillow and his my pillow. And while he doesn't give like crazy endorsements for things, um, he has said that it's a pretty decent pillow. 
Um, he doesn't get very excited about things like this, like I do, but, um, but I think he does like it. And I've been noticing because with other pillows, he tends to like bulldoze the pillows into the headboard and, um, he's not doing that with this. And so while I don't know how long it'll take for him to admit it, he, I'm sure he's having less neck pain when he wakes up and things like that. So before I write the blog up, I'll see if I can get a, uh, a statement from, from Tyler about that. Um, let me see if I can scroll up here. I saw a couple other questions. Sorry. Oh, Trisha asked, how does it compare, feel compared to memory foam? Um, we've had a couple memory foam pillows in the past and I've even, we've even had one that was like a memory foam, um, down alternative mix. And this one, um, the one thing I didn't like about a memory foam pillow was that it was really, really heavy and I couldn't like with my feather pillows, I could scrunch them up, you know, how I wanted to. And this one, I feel like I'm getting like where it locks in your position like memory foam does, but you still have that moldability and it's a much lighter weight. It feels like a normal pillow to me versus a memory foam pillow. Hopefully that answered that question. Um, Tina, it is a sign. You should get it and then let me know if you love it. Anyways, sorry, I'm trying to read comments and I'm squirreling. Um, okay, so you guys want to see it? I'll turn this around here real quick. And um, maybe... So that's my wrinkly pillowcase. We don't have to look at that. <clears throat> okay, so this is the... This is what it looks like. Sorry. Can you, I'm trying to hold this with my selfie stick and it doesn't really work very well. But anyways, this is what... This is kind of like how you can kind of squish it together and as you can see this one's pretty firm but it's still very moldable and like if I squish it and then I lay on it it stays pretty see how it stays like that I'm not holding it I mean like it'll bounce back but if you're laying here it stays and it doesn't get all all floppy if that makes any sense at all okay so that's a fun little flip around I don't know if that helped at all um, anyways, anybody have any other questions about it? I love, I mean, I love it. But like I said, it's not something that you're going to get, unwrap, you know, sleep on it the first night and just be like, oh my God, it's a dream. Um, it wasn't. It definitely took a few nights to kind of figure it out basically and see what worked for you and what you liked. And, um, and the great thing is there is... So you have time to do that. There's a 60 day money back guarantee. Even the ones we bought on Zulily, which you usually, I don't know um, how many of you shop at Zulily, but I love Zulily, but um, they, usually you can't return anything with Zulily. And so I was impressed that they still would honor the 60 day guarantee. And they sent you a $10 gift card. I don't know what I'm gonna buy for $10, but you know, any, yeah. Um, the king size does fit in the washer just, well, if it, our washer and our dryer are the same and we put it in the dryer and I'm, um, the direction said that you just need to make sure that you wash them both at the same time so that it doesn't get off balance. So that made sense and, um, it may get off balance a little bit, but they're light enough weight that they shouldn't be too terrible. Um, anyways, well, I didn't mean to like keep you guys all night here on Monday night, but we are, um, well, I am loving my my pillow, and I think Tyler is liking his my pillow. So I will try to get a comment from him and uh, before I get everything up on the blog later tonight. So keep your eye out for that. If anybody has any questions, um, comment below, and I will try to answer questions as I see them pop up. Hope you guys have a great night. I know that I'm going to sleep well. All right, thanks for popping on. This is Jill with Jill vs. Life. We'll see you later this week.